Sound as object or sound as something physical or material is nothing new, you see. It's really the property of sound. Sound is vibration. It can be through air or through wood, through metal, through water, through anything we want. Sound is a physical uh, phenomenon. Composers like Cage or uh, Stockhausen challenged this idea of duration, of space, of the arrangement and instrumentation in a way that expanded a lot the definition of what a comp composition can be. And that's how I started to understand sound art, as compositions that take into consideration spatial, durational, and uh, collaborative parameters in a totally different way from how things used to happen in, in other genres of music. There is an abstractness in sound that everybody's grasping in a way, and everybody's like finding it liberating. You see, this, uh, the, the abstraction that sound carries is pulling us away from like the, maybe the weight of image in a world that is saturated with images. <laughs> Visuality is part of the decision making, but the end thing to, to like decide on a space or disposition like this is sound. Pieces like this one and, and others have got a plurally uh, dimension. You see, of like musicians coming in, sometimes instrument makers stepping in, but I still like kind of the orchestrator, or like I am the one who is always driving the, the, the process and like who has the, the, the general scope uh, of like what everybody's doing. When I work with musicians, I often work with improvisers who have the freedom of taking decisions. So I really feel we are cooperating in terms of making something rather than collaborating. Since a student, I wanted to go towards performance. And the physicality inside my performances is also like coming from this desire to be close to people or to really address people on the spot. The more my work develops, the more performance is an articulation within something wider. With the Reverse Collection, the idea is to have all these performances inside the tanks and at the same time to record them. Whatever is being played here will become my material to work on a composition that we can hear inside the space. Performing is to help a research or to help understand something that would allow making an instrument or making an interface or pushing a concept further. Uh, and that's how I start uh, to understand and work with performance as a strong concentrated momentum that can teach you a lot about other things you're looking for. The idea of audience becomes very vague in a way. There are people coming, people going, people stay, some stay long, some stay little. But in the end, you are really playing for the sake of sound. And it puts you like in a very different meditative and concentrated mode and attention mode that affects a lot the quality of our improvisation. Like to improvise in the context of a gallery and in the context of a music festival are two different things. And I like these two qualities. They both nurture my work and feed my work in different ways.